metacarpal joint, metacarpal phalange, and then we have the interphalanges. Mm -hmm. So this is similar to what you did with Dr. Fung, or Dr. Fung, Dr. Good. Right? If I stabilize this distal metacarpal and I get on this proximal phalanx here, if I add a little bit of distraction, you can pull, that would be distraction. Right? <laughs> then I could also add a little distraction and I can go this way up here, which would be A to P or P to A. Okay. I could add some external rotation, internal. internal rotation. You could add some lateral to medial, medial to lateral. You could do the same thing with all these, remember? You did the same thing with all these. All right, so you can do the same thing with all, all of those. That's one way of doing those. You could also do the alternative, where this is more distraction only. I stabilize this distal metacarpal. I'm going to use these three fingers. I'm going to take this finger out. I'm going to scissor this finger here and ring, put my ring finger here. And I'm going to grab here, and then I could pull this way. It's just a pure distraction. So I mean, you can even do it on yourself, just, you know, just pull. You know, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. You could do this with every digit? Well, that's for these. Okay. To do these, if I take the hand and put it this way, if I want to do this pip joint, you take this trigger, so I'm going to get now distal to the joint with the thumb. This gets proximal. If you get yourself in this position here, you could add a little pressure. I don't want to do it too hard because it could hurt, but you add a little impulse, you'll get that. If I go to the distal and I'm now proximal to the joint, yeah, so you can just add a little pressure, you'll get that. Just to distract.